Hey everyone and welcome to a new video. Um, this video is a bit special because it's not going to be a tutorial, it's actually going to be more of a vlog. Uh, so me talking about this project I'm working on is a little experiment, um, could be interesting, let's see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is to tell you what I'm working on and then I will explain you how this works uh, in big line without going too much in detail. So, uh, let's start. So the project I'm working on is a Max for Life device. And um, what it will do is to allow the user to create visuals in a modular environment. So a bit like Max actually, but simplified. So a simplified version of the Jitter um, uh, library of Max inside a Max for Life device. That's kind of the goal. So for example, we will have like a shape node uh, we will have a color node and then we can connect the um, color output of the color node to the color input of the object node and now we can change its uh, the color of the object. Okay, so that's kind of the, the whole stage of this thing at the moment. We can move the nodes around, that's a feature, we can delete them, we can create them, multiple of those, can connect the inlets to the uh, the outlets to the inlets, although some of those don't actually do anything at the moment, only the color does something. So this could be pretty cool if we have like a bunch of different modules. Oh, okay, this is a bug, for example, as you can see. All right. So uh, this could be pretty interesting um, if we have a bunch of different modules that do a lot of different stuff, like for example, uh, the next model I want to add is a transform module to scale and move objects around, then going to be a, G a multiple module that will be basically a GGL multiple to have multiple objects. Uh, maybe I will call it like multiply or something and you will just connect your uh, uh, shape object to it and then it will multiply it according to add some procedural input and then it will be of course audio reactiveness and all the good stuff so that's the project it's basically um if you know like a reactor basically a modular uh, work environment for creating visuals so um mostly max for life devices that create visuals uh, of the new offer you a limited set of uh, possibilities. They have the visuals that they generate, like for example my red and blue device. You can just create, uh, you can just visualize with it the visuals that I programmed. But with this device the idea is to allow the user to have a lot of freedom and create itself its own program to generate the visuals. So using Max but in a simplified version. So the user will not have to learn uh, all about JIT matrices and how OpenGL objects work and how the shader works. This will all be integrated inside those modules, which I call nodes. So this is a node, this is not a node. Cool, so let me now show you how this works in practice, kind of what's the, what's the plan behind this thing, how am I, how am I designing this application. So this is kind of the general scheme I've got for this project. So in the main patch, which is uh, what I've just shown you, there is a JS file called Nodes Creator. Now this JS file is kind of our entry point in the application. It contains a class which is called Nodes Container. The Nodes Container is what manages all the nodes. So uh, at the moment there is only the color node and the shape node. And these are, these are managed inside the nodes container. So this contains an array or an object that contains all those nodes. Um, a node is represented by this node class, which is used in the nodes container. And a nodes class, it's used to create the cables and connections and also manages the node position inside the patch and a bunch of other stuff. What the nodes, uh, where the nodes outlets, for example, connect to which other nodes inlets. Um, inside there is a cable class which uh, is uh, simply used to manage the cable user interface. Doesn't do much, just represent those uh, cables which then represent the connections between the nodes in the application. So a node is actually uh, a B patcher which contains this node boilerplate max pad which just contains a JS object which is called node object. And this uh, JS creates uh, basically all the boilerplate code for the nodes. So all the inlets and outlets and the move button and the delete button. This is the, this is the same for all the nodes. So this is procedurally create, 
created by this uh, JS file called node object. And to create these um, elements, so for example, multiple inputs or outputs, uh, this JS file reads a, a JSON file, which contains the information for the single nodes. For example, there is a JSON for the color node and a JSON for the patch node. And this contains, for example, the size of the node, how many inputs and how many outlets and how they are called. And then inside this B patcher, inside this uh, node boilerplate max path, uh, the node object also loads another B patcher that loads then the abstraction for the single uh, nodes. What makes them different? So for example, the color we have this watch object and so on, the, the shape we have a GGL grid shape and a GGL handle and so on. So this is how it works kind of on an overview. And that's all people. The next step will be create some new nodes. So for example, a transform node and this multipl multiplier node and then uh, maybe some um, nodes to multiply shapes together or uh, just uh, some mathematical nodes to like multiply, uh, subtract and uh, do other stuff with uh, what in Max will be matrices, but in this application everything will be very fluid, so there will be not the concept of matrix, but more in general of shapes and addition and subtraction. I don't know yet exactly how this is going to look, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun to find out how this is going to progress. So I hope this was interesting. Uh, you can check my patterns for some more classical tutorials and some audiovisual patches of mine. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have fun. Ciao, ciao.